Fine. <laughs> Woo! So um, I practice all my jokes in front of my cats. So if y'all can just meow instead of laugh, that'd make me feel way more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird when you do it. <laughs> so believe it or not, I've not let myself go. <laughs> Saving that for marriage, I'll have you know. Uh, I just turned 35, and that's not old, but I'm already having old people moments. Like, I've already for real said this aloud to myself. Yes, I remember to take all my pills today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all downhill. Um, went and saw the doctor. The doctor told me I needed to lose weight. That's not really what bothered me. What bothered me is my doctor, well, she was larger than I am, trying to tell me I need to lose weight. She said, John, you need to diet, you need to exercise, and... If you just let me know if that works, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I eat too much food. I eat too much food. My favorite food, popcorn is my jam. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, love it. Yes. I love those movie theaters that let you buy that refillable bucket. You know what I mean? Mm. So you can come back. Mm -hmm. It's always embarrassing, though, when you got to walk up to the box office because you have your little pail in hand. You're just skipping to the box office. <laughs> One for monster trucks, please. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I'll be eating? It's always a walk of shame, too, when you leave the movie theater. Like, I'm not done eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody tries to judge me, I'm like, hey, let me fat explain something to you. <laughs> <laughs> I love popcorn. Just run away into the parking lot. <laughs> Slowly run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a classy guy, I'm not, as you can probably guess. I like to, I like to fake it, though. I like to fake class. Like, whenever I go out to eat somewhere, I just say I went to a sit-down restaurant. You have to know that I just dined in at Whataburger. You know, I just <laughs> leave out fast <laughs> sit down restaurant. It sounds so stupid. Like you go to a fast food place and just stand over the garbage and eat. It's just faster this way. <laughs> <laughs> I just leave. So uh, I recently got engaged, naturally. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, we took our engagement photos, those came out looking nice. The only problem is I'm in them. <laughs> <laughs> See, my fiance and everyone, the picture, she's all happy and smiling. And because I look like me, every photo I'm in is like our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't do this on purpose, you know. See, I have a condition. It's called resting creeper face. <laughs> like, do you look nice today? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I wish I didn't say that directly towards a man, but you know, <laughs> choices were made. Choices were made. I don't know. It's a, but the creepiness is real, though. Creepy, and this is how bad it is. Like, my brother, he'll text me pictures of his kids, and I have to reply saying, hey, don't take this the wrong way. I just can't have pictures of children on my phone. Oh! Uh, <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. You know, it's funny. Every time I tell somebody, like, now when I'm engaged, they get a little bit too happy. They get a little bit too relieved, especially the women. They're like, oh, some poor woman took the hit for us. Oh, <laughs> took them off our hands. <laughs> and, they, and, they, and, and they meet her. They're like, they shake her hand like, thank you for your service. <laughs> Do you want my seat on the plane? What, what is this? <laughs> not good. It's not very nice. I'll tell you, though, even though I'm a happily engaged man, I still for real think any woman who talks to me is coming on to me. Like, I, I had a woman say this to me just the other day. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Have a blessed day. And I was like, I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Flexing with my popcorn bucket. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. It's heavy. I had extra butter. Anyway. That's nothing. That's too stupid. <laughs> I'm too dumb. <laughs> yeah, I, back before when I was dating, uh, I, was, I was on the prowl. <laughs> Y'all don't believe me. <laughs> You're like, I bet you were a prowler. I just don't think you were on the prowl. Isn't that very nice. But back when I was dating, I had a type. Okay, here, here was my type. Uh, poor. That's right. Poor. I like me some hand-me-down hotties. <laughs> uh, I was on the lookout for them impoverished honeys. <laughs> Secondhand sexies are real. <laughs> <laughs> I found out though, after a while that I was just like I found out though after a while I was just paying I was just paying for dinner, you know what I mean? 
Like, I wasn't a player, I was Meals on Wheels. <laughs> so, uh, I, do, I do reside in Dallas, though, but uh, I am originally from Waco, Texas, the compound place. Mm -hmm. yeah. To this day, it's the compound place. I'm like, we had the Dr. Pepper Museum, too, you know. <laughs> but yes, the, the, the ATF didn't shoot up Dr. Pepper. But uh, I say being from that area and being basically from the South, I hear a lot of crazy saying. And you all... And y'all probably heard this before. Whenever there's thunder or lightning outside, I'll hear somebody say, Oh, you hear that? It sounds like the devil's beating his wife. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and I'm like, Well, she did marry the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's my time, guys. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, he's so